Hi there. How y'all doing? I uh, got some more bully here, and tell you what, not a whole lot left. There's only so much of this game left. This is rapidly winding down here. But uh, I got another mission. The next one is finding Johnny Vincent. So uh, we're going to be doing some traveling here. <laughs> it's not going to take us very long in this thing. All right, so I'm going to pop this open. And speaking of popping things open, I got a fresh beer. <sighs> Let's do this. Well, of course not. Nothing's your fault. Calling a tramp. I loved Johnny. Not exclusively, I'll grant you, but I loved him. Yeah, no shit, now right? Gone. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Johnny's disappeared, gone crazy, abducted by aliens. I bet it was you, Hopkins. Yeah. Since so you we already did a mission. Up, everything's gone really weird. For the jocks. School. Who's the daddy -o now? Huh? We did a mission for the nerds. Now we got to do something for the greasers. You're both acting crazy. Cut it out. Now tell me. Where's Johnny? I don't know. Usually in, you know, just like in Chapter 3 in some way or another, involving something having to do with Lola. my fault. Someone said they saw a couple of asylum orderlies driving up to his house. But you know how people love to talk. Johnny wasn't crazy. Asylum orderlies? No, Johnny wasn't crazy. Johnny was just really stupid. Not like you, Jimmy. Look, I'll get your boy back, all right? See you later, freaks. All right. Chug the beer. All right, let's do this. Now, we've already been to the asylum, which on a bicycle would be, you know, quite a ride. <laughs> but it won't take too long on this thing. All we have to do is try to not run over any police officers, and we should be cool. All right, pretty much on the uh, from the entrance where we just came in it's completely on the opposite corner in blue skies way down here and instead of going down that first tunnel we go down the second tunnel takes us right to it takes a little bit to get in too and actually I don't even know why I bothered even trying to park that because it's not like it's gonna be here when we come out any really uh, any mission that's as long as this one, your go kart's gonna be gone by the time you come back out. But same way we went in before. The only way in is around the back, climb up a tree, hang over, climb down. All right, so you can actually get in considerably easier than we did the last time you just gotta hide behind these bushes and wait for that guy to walk towards you then walk all the way back so I'm gonna set the brew again all right it's got his back to us all we have to do is wait till he's past the door and we're cool okay all good, inside just like we were before. We're pretty much going to the same place. Alright, now Mr. Galloway was right over there on the right. But we have to go back through this way and be careful in this room. There's an orderly sleeping on the couch. And sometimes he wakes up, sometimes he doesn't. Got lucky that time. There was a guy right on the other side of the door, and of course he's going to make her right, so we have to go back around. That's cool. That's cool. I'm not crazy. Let me out, you pigs. Jim, All right. Sit in the brood. You got to get into the control room to open the door. Get an orderly uniform from the laundry room. The dropouts. Set me up. The this is all the dropouts. Since we've already been through all the factions, now we have to take out the uh, the townies, most of which live in the Blue Skies Industrial Park, which is part of the map we just opened. All right, going into the shower room and uh... oh shit, 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 shit! No, that's my fault. That's my fault. Usually, when you open that door, the guys. 
there's these two, uh, there's this wall where you can take showers on either side of the wall. Normally he's on the other side. I wasn't even looking that time. That's my bed. That is totally my bed. So now we get to do this again. Oh, good. Anyway, I guarantee anytime you're ever playing this, that's probably going to happen to you. Probably more than once. So, no biggie. We just got to wait for that guy again. Wait for him to walk past the door and blah, blah, blah. Sipping the brew, y'all. Of course, now he's way over there. Take your time, brother. It's a madhouse. Or so they claim. It's a madhouse. Am I insane? <laughs> Come on, man. Hurry up. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. Yeah, should be cool now. Same thing we did before. It's all the same. Alright, coming through here again. Right past where we got uh, Mr. Galloway. Whoa, there's a guy over there. I see him on the map. And we're cool. And again, going into this room, there's a good chance that guy will wake up and he'll throw us back out again. Oh, got lucky a second time. Very cool. And one more time, there's a guy standing in front of this door. And made a right again. I didn't, uh... I wonder if that's their normal pattern. I don't seem to remember them always going that way. But that's okay. They walk right past where Johnny is. It's a madhouse! Am I insane? Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't even have to talk to Johnny again. I already did that. All I gotta do is go this way. But, uh, look on the map before you open the door this time, you drunk asshole. Okay. Look how dirty and grimy and grungy these showers are. <laughs> Mr. Galloway was committed in here and had to take showers with all these guys. When he wasn't in therapy, pretending, pretending to be somebody's mother. Alright. Into the laundry room. Got an orderly outfit. Oh! And I still got the Mohawk! <laughs> cool. I still got the Mohawk. So I can run freely without having to worry about getting caught. But nobody notices a guy walking around with a green Mohawk. I'm not drawing any attention to myself at all. Now let's say I was to walk over and punch this guy. I would still get thrown out again. You know, if you don't cause any trouble, you can complete this all right, what's up, Johnny? Let's go. Follow you? I know where I'm going. I've been here before. Not that way. All right, see? Johnny doesn't know where he's going. And he lives here. All right, there is a gate. Not that one. That one. There's a gate. And, you know, Jimmy's got to be all of, what, 5'3"? Don't help him or anything, Johnny. Just stand there. And, uh, nope, not that way, this way. <laughs> it's not over here, it's over here. So much for that whole I know where I'm going shit. Tell you what, there is a lot of building here. <laughs> There's a lot of rooms here. Thanks for getting me out, Jimmy. How'd you get in there to begin with? Sipping a brew. Some local kids said they'd gotten together with Lola. I went a little crazy. I can believe that. Yeah, anyways, I yeah no shit. See if it's true or not. See ya. This guy's still, after everything that he's been through, and that huge brawl that we had, and all of that, and him uh, and Lola sleeping with Gord, and Lola sleeping with Chad, and Lola sleeping with Algy, this guy is this guy got thrown in a mental asylum for this chick. I'm pretty sure him and Lola pretty much belong together, because he's kind of mental too. Anytime you uh, complete that mission, this side mission is going to happen after it. It's going to happen every time, so... Let that guy notice you. Here's another guy down the street. I'm going pretty fast on this skateboard. And there you go. Now just run back. Yep, not that way. This way. What's with the mask? A lot of the orderlies had masks on. Why do the patients need it? And notice the, uh, we're on the skateboard because our go-kart wasn't there when we came back out. 
that'll pretty much happen every time too. Hey, what's up, brother? I got your guys. Your slow ass guys. It's a madhouse. <laughs> Come on, hurry up already. There you go. All right, it is almost midnight. And Townie's challenge. Okay, that's our next save location. And so I'm gonna go do that right now. If I don't beat it, I'm gonna pass out at two o'clock in the morning, and I'll wake up, and all my weapons will be gone. So uh, I want to try to beat this the first time. Okay, and sipping the brew on the way in. It's a pretty cool game. It's all about killing things and taking their stuff. What was it called? Grottos Pretty much just like the Greasers Challenge. Like you barge that? into this building, yeah. you beat them all hey, up, and you get your save you location. Here? I'm here to beat you up and evict you. <laughs> no talking, yeah, they're really scared fight. of you wearing that freaking outfit. And his mohawk. Ah, excuse me. Here you go. Got my potato gun. These guys are uh, pretty tough to beat down, but... <laughs> Nobody's really that hard when you got the potato gun. Look at that, they all went down in one shot. We got three more guys and two more shots with this gun. So, <laughs> we're gonna have to fight one gun. <laughs> Man, that's it. All right, so put in two missions. I'm going to uh, go ahead and end the video after I uh, and that's that. uh, get rid of this horrible music that I hate. Every time I come into this hangout, I bust up the radio and the card cable. because <laughs> I like to. And uh, yeah. So, you gotta kick this garbage can first. You always aim for that first. Alright, well I'm gonna go ahead and end this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, will see you all next time.